this one's coming a little bit late. I'm sorry about that. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff lately, but here's your NFL Week 4 recap. And this is going to be a condensed recap. I'm not going to go as in-depth. I'll probably go more in-depth once I get caught up on this. But to start off, <clears throat> the games that we have here to start, there's night football between the Bengals and the Dolphins. It was a really kind of benign type of game. Not a whole lot to write home about. But uh, starting, we're going to start in reverse. We're going to go with the Monday night game between the Seattle Seahawks and the New York Giants. The Seattle Seahawks put on one of the most big dominant defensive performances of the season on the road against the New York Giants, racking up 11 sacks for the just the ninth time in NFL history. Seattle would ultimately win the game 24-3. The Giants on the opening drive went for it on fourth down and would fail to get anything going. And it's kind of how their night went on. For the rest of the night, Devin Witherspoon though had a breakout performance with two sacks, two interception, or two sacks, an interception, which he returned at 97 yards for a touchdown. Next up, we have the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders. This game was a pretty, pretty good one. Went to overtime. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles did outlast the Washington Commanders in overtime to win 34 to 31 and would, would advance to 4-0 on the year. Then San Francisco 49ers take, would take on the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Niners would improve to 4-0 with an NFL with an NFC West divisional win over the Arizona Cardinals, who once again delivered a very respectable effort despite a final score of 35-16 that looks a bit uglier than reality. Buffalo Bills 48, Miami Dolphins 20. This was just a slaughter a week ago. The Miami Dolphins would have an offensive showcase against Denver, putting up 70 points. But the Buffalo Bills show that they're still the top dog in the AFC East with a dominant win over the Miami Dolphins in week four. The New York Jets get a 24-20 victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers, which featured the 2022 debut for both Zach Wilson and rookie Kenny Pickett. <clears throat> Baltimore Ravens and Cleveland Browns. The Ravens just kind of dominated in this one. Cleveland had been having some really good games stringing along a really strong defensive performance, but gave up the most points that they have given up so far this season with a 28-3 loss. And the Baltimore Ravens will move to 3-1 with this win uh, on the road against Cleveland. Tampa Bay Buccaneers and New England Patriots 26-9 victory for the Buccaneers here. Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Bucks kept things rolling with a surprisingly good start to the season, knocking off the NFC South favorite New Orleans Saints. Sorry, New Orleans Saints, not New England Patriots. But they would beat the Saints by a score of 26-9 on the road, no, no less. Uh, Baker Mayfield has been playing lights out with new offensive weapons this season for him, uh, getting involved in the Tampa Bay system, having receivers like Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and uh, being able to take charge and have an offense that is completely built for his style of football. Next game I have here is the Green Bay Packers 27 and the New England Patriots uh, 24. <clears throat> this was a close game, but the Green Bay Packers uh, edged out New England here. The Packers breathed a collective sigh of relief as Mason Crosby's 31-yard field goal split the uprights as overtime expired. It was a surprising sight. It was a, it was surprising that it took overtime, honestly. Given the New England Patriots third string quarterback Bailey Zappi was forced into action for the majority of the game, but a win is a win in the tight NFC North. The Los Angeles Chargers and Las Vegas Raiders. The Chargers won their second straight contest after a tough 0-2 start and improved to 2-2 on the season, getting their season back on track with the divisional win over the Las Vegas Raiders. The Minnesota Vikings and Carolina Panthers. Uh, went at it they were both te winless teams in this one but the minnesota vikings took down the carolina panthers 21 to 13 in week four to pick up their first win of the year the brown or the broncos also beat the uh chicago bears in a 31 to 28 contest giving the denver broncos their first win of the year but so far this season has been shaping up to be really good. It's anyone's game at this point in the season. At the time that I'm making this recording, I believe there are five teams all at 5-1. and one. I know I'm two weeks late on this, guys. That's my bad, and I do apologize for that. But other games that went on, the Packers and Lions went at it in week four. So I guess I read the wrong game there. Um, 
The Lions beat the Packers 34-20. The Jaguars beat the Falcons 23-7. The Rams beat the Colts 29-23. Surprising game for this week was probably the Titans and Bengals. Uh, It was a really good, strong showing for Ryan Tannehill, who went 18-25, 240 yards, one touchdown, and only one pick. But Derrick Henry still proving that he's a dominant back, as he's always been. 22 carries, 122 yards, and one touchdown. Really strong performance by Tennessee to keep pace in the uh, AFC South. Then you have the Texans over the Steelers. Uh, Texans would beat the Steelers 30-6 to in a game where C.J. Stroud played lights out as well. 16 of 30 for 306 yards and two touchdowns. Damon Pierce for 24 carries and 81 yards. Sunday Night Football would be kind of ugly, an ugly, ugly game for the Chiefs, but they would pick up the win. They would win 23-20. to And it was a uh, really interesting performance because it was the first time that Patrick Mahomes had gotten outplayed in his career and by Zach Wilson of all people. Patrick Mahomes' stat line for the game was 18 of 30 passing, two over three yards, one touchdown to two picks. Zach Wilson went 28 of 39, 245 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, The Jets had multiple chances to win this game or take the lead at least late in the fourth quarter, but just couldn't capitalize on any of the field position that they were given. And to wrap it all up, the Cowboys blew up the Patriots 38-3. And there's not really much to say about that one. Anyway, guys, I'm so glad you listened uh, all the way through. And uh, if you enjoyed our content, please click like, share, and subscribe. If you are new, tap the bell to get over post notifications, and we will see you later.